song for Matt's group question times. It's pretty repetitive. It's called Group's Questions with Matt. We hope you enjoy it. It's how he'll come on stage every week. Group's Questions. We call him Pastor Matt. He's not shaped like a globe. He's the opposite of fat. <laughs> it's just a bunch of questions. There won't be a summary, but he'll come out and ask them to people like you and me. Sing it. Groups, questions with Pastor Matt. We're thankful that he asked them, though he's not easy to look at. <laughs> I don't at know how long to let times. you go. <laughs> <laughs> you should stop. Yeah, that was <laughs> Everyone's thinking, you know, he should just stick with preaching probably and <laughs> yeah. not ever sing any songs. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's not easy to do in E minor. Yeah. Every single week we will look forward to a different version of that song. Oh, really? Song. I think That's so. That's outstanding. I think that needs to happen. Hey, groups, uh, I'm Pastor Matt. I'm so excited to <laughs> see you guys. Oh, this is so good. Hey, we have got some questions for you guys this week, and we're so excited to continue this series of Come and See, uh, so we're going to get right into it right away. So this first question is this. This woman was drawing water alone, so we're talking about uh, the woman at the well. This woman was drawing water alone instead of during the time where there would be other women of the community drawing water together. Describe a time when you avoided a location or a specific group of people out of shame. Maybe you didn't want to see them. Talk about that. All right, the second question. This woman was in the middle of her normal day and normal activities when Jesus changed everything about it. Can you describe a time or a moment in your life when that happened? Think back to this story of how the woman responded. How many words made up this woman's testimony when she went back to her neighbors to describe this scene? How many words made up that testimony? I want you to reread verse 42 a minute and think about what stands out in particular to you. Uh, describe a time when you discounted yourself as the right person to say, come and see. What was that time like? Considering who Jesus used as his first missionaries, does the position, the reputation, the background status of these people, does those things matter to Jesus? Think about who he used as the disciples. Does their reputation, their background, and their status matter? All right, here's the last question. Who has the Holy Spirit prompted you to invite to come and see? Maybe one of the questions you uh, talked a little bit more in depth earlier is the 12 words to your testimony. Who is the Holy Spirit saying, maybe say those 12 words to those people? Maybe it's inviting them to a group. Maybe it's inviting them to church. Or it could be as simple as going out to coffee with them. Come and see. Come and see the words that Jesus has spoken to me. Who is that person in your life? Our groups, that's all for the discussion questions. If you guys have time or want to dig a little deeper, uh, the digging deeper section that your leaders have is pretty fascinating this week. It talks about why God would actually choose us to say, come and see to other people. He's got the angels, right? They know a lot of things. He's got all these other 
avenues that he could use, but he chooses us to say, come and see. Let's talk about that together if you have time in the Digging Deeper section. Hope you guys have a great week, and we will see you soon. (laughs) 